Hey, welcome back, folks. Today we have a special treat. The Spinners, but with Dion Warwick singing. She's one of the greatest. Had so many great songs from the 70s, from the 60s. Yes, Emily, we know Heartbreaker was in the 80s, and that's your favorite. <laughs> All right. Heartbreaker. Barry Gibb wrote it. Folks, the song we're doing today is Then Came You. However, you knew that when you clicked on the link. We start with an F. Then we play a B flat like this, F, B flat, D, and then we play an E flat, G, B flat, E flat. And the pattern is this. Just like that, four times. Now the song starts with a verse. F to a, I will play a C11 here, which is basically a, from the fifth string down on the third fret. It's really like a B flat over an F, but there's the five in there also from the F chord, so it's like a B flat over an F5. But I just play it as a C11, let the bass continue playing the F, so it's ever since I met you. F, G, G sharp, A minor 7, D minor 7, F over A, B flat, C, B flat, F over A, G minor 7, C 11, twice to a C. Now we're in the second half. G minus 7 to a C11 twice, F over A, and then it goes into the chorus. Are you ready to give this one a whirl, Em? Yeah. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Ever since I met you, seems I can't forget you. Makes everything right. And then we go into the chorus. The chorus. B flat major 7. D11. Which is basically the first finger on the C. First fret of the second string and four strings down. G minor 7. F over A. B flat. Walk up. D minus 7, G minus 7. Push on F over A. B flat major 7, D11, G minus 7, F over A, E flat, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1. B flat riff. This time it was just two and then goes into verse two. One, two, three. Just touching you and loving you makes everything right. Then it does verse 2. Verse 2 followed by chorus 2. Chorus 2 followed by the same tag of 2 here. Except after the 2, instead of going to another verse, it does the tag a whole step higher. Just like the intro, four times, but in G. Does that four times and then goes into the last chorus. 
The last chorus is basically the chorus a whole step higher, but in between is only one of the tags every time. It just keeps repeating out. So I'm going to show you those chords. We're going to play it, and then we're done. C major 7. E11. Which is basically you're barring the 2nd fret 5th string down. Middle finger is going to be on the D on the 2nd string. A minor 7. G over B, C, D to D sharp, E minor, A minor 7, push on the G over B, C major 7, E11, A minor 7, G over B, F and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, C. So that is, instead of going back up to the C, we go to the G over B, and it repeats. And it just keeps repeating. So I'm going to play two tags of the G, which is only half of what's on the record, and then we'll start in with the last chorus. One, two, three. just keeps repeating over and over that's how you play then came you i dig it <laughs> i dig it too you dig it very good <laughs>